Hi, Pastor Anthony Duck with your hashtag Better Together Devotion for today. I'm curious, when you were a child, if, if you had siblings, did you ever feel like you weren't mom or dad's favorite? Well, today I want to explore in the biblical text and, and some of the stories of the Bible this week where that was actually happening and it led to such detrimental relationships and hardships for the family and eventually for the entire world. So first off, I want to begin with the very first family. We have the family of Adam and Eve, and they have, uh, at the time of this story, two sons, Cain and Abel, who are named. And, and one of the things that happens in the biblical text in the story is that Cain and Abel come to God with worship. They come to God and provide God offerings. And, and Cain begins feeling like his offering is not as good as Abel's for some reason. There's this disconnect maybe with his relationship, maybe something's going on. I recently read a rabbi who actually um, is a family counselor, and he wondered and asked the question, uh, perhaps maybe this was learned behavior. You see, how do we learn to worship? When, when, how, do, how do kids learn how to worship? Well, well they go to worship with their parents. And so the question that he posited was, perhaps maybe Adam and Eve taught Cain and Abel or, or said, ooh, Abel, that offering's going to make God real happy, and then didn't say anything to Cain. The disastrous effects of this is the hard-heartedness hard and the resentment that builds within Cain. Cain looks to Abel and, and begins thinking murderously. Brother, let's go out into the field where Abel never returns from because he is killed at Cain's hand. Over jealousy, over, over a desire for approval from God, and let's face it, who do we see approval from God through first and foremost? The parents. If you're a parent or a grandparent or an aunt or an uncle or someone who's involved in children's lives, I want to challenge you today to take the time to let them know that they are important, that they matter, and more important than that, let them know that what they do matters to you and matters to God. Show approval, smile at that goofy picture that they've drawn in church, or, or, or invite them to, to, to give you, will you color me something? And then when they bring it to you, act like it's a Rembrandt or a Van Gogh. Show how pleased you are with what kids are offering, because it might just save their life and others, all in the name of Christ, teaching them that we're better when we're together. Amen.